Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to introduce the PRM method for robot motion planning. Path planning is the basic for various tasks for robots and has always been a research hotspot. It is an important method for robot to avoid obstacles in the configuration space. And in this video, I'm going to focus on one type of sampling-based path planning algorithm, the PRM method. This method can be separated into the following steps. First, initialization. We set up an undirected graph where the vertex set V represents for all the collision-free configurations, and connection set E represents for all the collision-free path. The initial state is empty. Second, sampling. We sample a collision-free point in the configuration space and add it to set V. Three, domain calculation. We define a distance row for all the vertex in set V. If its distance between alpha i is less than rho, we call it the neighborhood point of alpha i. Four, edge connection. We connect alpha i with its neighborhood point and generate a line tall. And five, collision detection. If tall doesn't collide with the obstacles added to the connection set E. Six. And condition: If all the sampling points have completed the above steps, and otherwise, repeat step two to five. And the final step seven: If all the steps above is finished, we use graph search algorithm in the undirected graph G to find if there exists a path from the initial position to the destination, and if there exists one, then we find the path. And this page shows how the algorithm works. Then let's take a look at an example. First, we draw a 500 times 500 pixels image. The white area is the configuration space, while the colored areas are obstacles. Then we converted this image to a binary image for collision detection convenience. And the second step is sampling. We randomly sample a specific number of collision-free points. Maybe 50 or 100, checking if all these points、uh, doesn't collide with obstacles. If some yes, then discard those collide points. In this image, the point on the top left corner is the initial position, and the point on the right bottom corner is the destination. Step three, the main calculation. In this step, we co connect the lines between all these points and detect the collision between lines and obstacles. However, we are not going to connect all the points, such as the initial position and destination. We、we'll、only connect the points which distance are not too large. So we have to define the size of domain. We will only consider these lines no larger than this domain size, maybe under 100 or 200. After connecting and collision detection, we put all the collision-free lines into the connection set E. As we can see, since we have the domain and the collision constraints, there are two points on the top right corner. They have no connection with other points. And the last step, step four, we use a kind of graph search algorithm, such as the A star method, to search the shortest path between the initial position and destination. And this path is the available shortest path, which is the solution to this problem. Then let's come to a conclusion on the PRM method. How the parameters have affected our path and result. First, the amount of sampling points. It's clear that if we put more sampling points in this graph, we are more likely to get the shortest path. But relatively, we will spend more time searching this path. Second is the size of the domain. It affects the generation of lines and collision detection. If the domain is too small, we may not find a possible line between points, and if there is no enough points, we may not find a path of a solution. This method, proposed by Lilia in 1996, has three advantages. First, it overcomes the shortcomings that some previous path planning methods are easy to fall into the local minimum, and second, it can be applied to the path planning of multi-DOF robots. Third. Small amount of calculation. When the obstacles in the environment are more complicated, some previous path planning methods will lead to a larger calculation. 
while the PRM can effectively solve the problem of plus burning in high dimensional space and complex constraints. I have provided some materials for future studies. I have to say that it's quite fun to look through some of the traditional and advanced path planning algorithm, because I'm always amazed by the wisdom of these researchers and their technique in these algorithms. And that's all for my video. Thank you. This is my references.